So here it is, the Menis Forum UM750L Slim. It's got the right parts, Ryzen 5, Radeon 680M graphics and up to 32 gigs of LPDDR5 RAM. All that in a chassis you could hide behind your monitor. Let's see if it's actually worth your money. But first, unboxing time. So here we go. Even the box joins the new eco trend that I came straight from a cycling depot look. Inside the unit wrapped in paper like a burrito. Sustainable packaging, they say. Sure. The PC itself, compact. 130 by 126 by 50 mils, just over half a kilo, around all point liters in volume. All plastic, yeah, but surprisingly solid. The slightly taller body means better airflow and bigger fan, a smart trade-off for cooling. Design-wise, it looks like a cousin of the Menis Forum M1 Pro, though with different port layout and no aluminium shell this time. Still, the matte finish gives it a clean metallic look until you pick it up and realize how light it really is. Inside the box you'll find also the essentials, a 1 meter HDMI cable, a 65 watts power brick, VESA mount and a spare rubber feet. No fluff, just what you need. Up front we got two USB 3.2 10 gigabits per second ports, a 3.5 mils jack, a clear CMOS button, microphone and power button. Sides, vents only, and on the back, dual old school USB 2, perfect for keyboard and mouse, HDMI 2.1, DisplayPort 1.4, a full speed USB 4, 40 gigabits per second for power, and display out, and two and a half gigs ethernet and power input. Wireless, yeah, Wi-Fi 6E and Bluetooth 5.3 are built in. It even supports triple displays up to 8K 60Hz or 4K 120Hz. That's a workstation level output from something smaller than your lunchbox. Opening it isn't fun. Peel off glued rubber feet, undo screws and pry the lid. Once inside though, it's tidy. You get two PCIe Gen 4 NVMe slots, both with thermal pads, so storage upgrades are easy. I like extra storage, so I added 2TB fast SSD, as I showed in one of my last videos. Can't go wrong with that. The RAM is soldered, LPDDR5 6400, available in 16 gigs or 32 gigs configs. So no swapping later. Make sure you choose wisely when ordering, with RAM is always the more the better. The BIOS is standard UEFI, nothing fancy but stable. You can update it, though Minusforum's firmware record is, let's say, mixed. If it runs stable, leave it alone. Inside runs AMD's Ryzen 5 7545U, 6 Zen 4 cores, 12 threads, boost up to 4.9 GHz with Radeon 680M graphics based on RDNA 3. On paper, it's a mid tier CPU, but in real use, it feels way faster than it should. Synthetic scores first, just to set the stage. In Geekbench 6, 2425 in single and 9126 in multi. In Signbench R23, 1690 single and 10400 in multi core. GPU in OpenCL, 12900 points. That puts it above older 8 core Intel H chips and close to desktop Ryzen 5600G territory. Now, real life. Boot time 7 seconds to desktop. I opened 23 Chrome tabs, each streaming YouTube or Twitch, some in 4K, some in 1080p, and none stuttered. Switching between them, instant. Memory load hit around 11 gigs, CPU 40 to 60 percent, and temps mid 60s Celsius. So yes, it passes the can it handle my chaotic multitasking test easily. Office and productivity smooth. Word, Excel, Outlook, Teams, etc., etc. All at once, zero lag. Photo editing in Photoshop and light 1080p video cuts in DaVinci Resolve fully usable. Rendering a 2 minute 1080p H264 clip took about 58 seconds. Not workstation class, but solid in its class. While I was pushing the UM750L Slim in real world tasks, I decided to stress test it properly using ADA64 for about 22 minutes. The CPU climbed to 83 to 85 Celsius most of the time, peaking at 91 Celsius on the heavy load. Not ideal, but completely within spec. And the fan, honestly, I was pleasantly surprised. At load, it hums at around 35 decibels. You can hear it, but it's a smooth, almost soothing whoosh, not a whiny turbine. 
and at idle is basically silent. Considering how small this thing is, that's impressive. Power draw was just as efficient. Idle, it sips only 6 watts, and even when I pushed it, it hovered around 60 watts, peaking at 70. The 1TB Kingston Gen 4 SSD is right there with it. Reads hitting about 6000 megabytes per second, writes just over 5300. Snappy, solid, and far from the cheap, slow storage stereotype. Honestly, watching it handle multiple tabs, a few 4K streams and still stay cool on the quiet made me appreciate how well Minis Forum engineered this little unit. Let's be clear, this isn't a gaming desktop, but AMD's Radeon 680M integrated GPU deserved respect. I started with some classic nostalgia first, Mario Kart on Dolphin. Locked 60fps, smooth as butter, no frame drops, same story with all the few emulated titles, nothing surprising here. Then Stardew Valley, one of my all time comfort games, again absolutely flawless, fans barely spin, power draw minimal, so far easy win. But then I wanted to push it a bit, so I fired up Grand Theft Auto 5 Enhanced Edition. Running it in 2K on low settings, everything is on minimum, the game actually stayed between 50 and 60 FPS, depending on the scene. Honestly, I didn't expect that. Drop it to 1080p and it gets even smoother. Or if you want, you can bump the graphics up to high and still keep it playable at the resolution. For an integrated GPU, that's seriously impressive. The one thing that annoyed me, sometimes that visible artifact at the bottom of the display, so I can tell the GPU works on full power here. Next up, Forza Horizon 5. Same story, 2K low settings, consistent 60 to 70 FPS. Totally playable, visually solid, and again, no thermal throttling, no jet engine noise. Drop the rest to 1080p and you're easily above 60 FPS, maybe closer to 80. That's when it really hit me, this $300 worth box can actually handle light gaming, no joke. Then came Hogwarts Legacy. This one's tougher on hardware, but even here on 2K on lowest settings, I was getting between 30 and 40 FPS. Playable, stable, enjoyable and still quiet. It's not meant to be a gaming beast, but it holds its ground pretty well. And here's where the things get interesting. That USB 4 port on the back, yeah, I had to test it. I plugged in a Boss Game GVP 7600. It's a portable eGPU with a Radeon RX 7600M inside, and the whole experience just transformed. Suddenly, this tiny UM750L Slim became a proper gaming rig. Benchmarks jumped, frame rates skyrocketed. Grand Theft Auto 5 now running at 2K high graphics, 60 FPS, no problem. Forza Horizon 5, 2K on height with FSR 3, very smooth, easily over 80 FPS. Even Hogwarts Legacy at 2K medium graphics was around 60 FPS. Sure, the USB 4 bandwidth caps it a little, you're not getting 100% of what GPU can do but it's close enough that you won't care. It's honestly wild, a budget mini PC like this paired with a mid-tier external GPU turns into a fully capable desktop gaming setup. No arcing, yeah, but at this price point, guys, I'm not complaining, you're getting performance that absolutely shouldn't be possible on something this small. So the UM750L Slim is honestly the cheapest mini PC I've seen on Amazon with USB 4, which means you can plug in an eGPU and suddenly have proper gaming machine. Out of the box, the integrated GPU handles almost everything you throw at, at basic level. And the rest of the system, Ryzen 5 7545U, dual PCIe Gen 4 slots, 2.5G Ethernet and USB 4 is solid for productivity, streaming and light creative work. Sure, the RAM is soldered and the chassis isn't the easiest to open, but for a budget-focused entry-level mini PC, these are small compromises. If you're looking for a compact, capable and upgradable little system that actually works, this is the one I would definitely recommend. So that's the Minis Forum UM750L Slim. Compact, upgradable, wallet-friendly and with an AGPU, it's an absolute little monster. Agree, disagree, drop your hot takes in the comments. And while you're here, don't forget to subscribe. I know you want to. Family Pop TV